The drought in Australia fueled the fires that we saw at the beginning of this year. We talked with David Lowe about the drought and about biodynamics, a subject we are very interested in. Talk to me about the current drought and how that's affecting you, because I've been hearing hearing about that. And yep. Uh, so the current the current drought has has been it will be damaging for those people who don't who aren't ready for drought. And there's a there's a current social argument about those people who are, are bad managers and have got drought and are always after help. Uh, and and it's not fair because the drought can be debilitating. But Australia's had droughts before and will have flooding rains again. From our form of agriculture, I think what we've done from 20 years ago has set us up to be resistant to the drought. And whether it's biodynamics or practical experience or we're just conservative farmers, I don't know. But essentially, from a, from a biodiversity side, we've nailed it with, with uh, biodynamics because what we've done is we've, we've removed all damaging, um, I don't know, conte contemporary things that you do like weedicide, insecticides, we've let diverse grasses grow or native grasses grow, we've never overcropped or overgrazed the farm, we've got a succession of native grass and pastures that can stand it and we've got good ground cover. So we've we managed to limit a lot of the things that can have all the bad pests or locusts don't come because the ground is fully covered. No bad weeds, that's happened. We don't irrigate our vineyards and as a result our vine roots are very deep. In fact our Shiraz vines are nearly five metres deep. They were planted with a shovel and a bucket of water and we've relied on, on rainfall. Scarce have been all the time and they've survived, never lost a vine. They're quite productive. In fact, they look, as, they look better than most vineyards that are drip irrigated. So we've come to, those decisions we made early on, we've come to, to watch and appreciate what's really going on. And I think it's got, as we've got to learn more and more about biodynamics, it's been about observation. There is no recipe. So the great biodynamics will say, it's about observation. Learn yourself about your environment. And we've learned to, when to interfere or not to interfere. I, I quite love the definition. Might I like to talk about a definition for biodynamics? Because I think sure. it's a really simple yeah. way to describe it because I get asked this a lot. Yeah. And I've really noticed, and you probably know this as well, there's more fascination and interest from people about biodynamics. So I, was very, I tried to ask my other consultant about it, and he, his description to me was the best. And it said, on one hand, you have Newtonian science. Isaac Newton laws of motion, which is, is absolute. It's mathematical, it's precise. On the other hand, you have the philosophy of Goethe, a late 18th century, early 19th century poet, did many things, but he looked at all the all of the happenings around the world and by precedence, how they occurred and tried to find some explanation. If you didn't have an explanation, it was from forces that we didn't really understand. So to me, biodynamics understands and respects the precedence and what's happened in nature over the last five or seven thousand years has been mapped and tries to apply Newtonian science to it. I find a really interesting way to do it because we're not just, we're not looking at the sky and the cosmos and the land and saying, oh, we're all hippie about it. We're saying, but there is a scientific reason this happens. We're trying to find it. If we can't understand, at least appreciate this has happened and work with it. I love that definition. Yeah, That's I fantastic. think it's easier yeah. to yeah. describe that. And then most people get it. They know heard yeah. of Isaac Newton. They understand philosophy. They understand precedence. Yeah. They know that Mesopotamians, Phoenicians, and Chinese practiced some form of it, and they survived. They got into fights, but they survived. And as a result, we're better for it. So I think that's respect of the things that have happened in the past and the way people manage without our knowledge is, is, is illuminating. <laughs>